Howdy! Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you some new products from our 2014 Occasions Catalog. The stamps that I'm using today is called Happy Watercolor, and I'm going to use this stamp image out of the set with our gold ink. This piece of very vanilla is two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And so I'm going to start by inking this up and just stamping right on here. It's going to go off the bottom just a little bit. But I'm going to stamp on here and this will be the focal point for our card. You can see that gold ink just has a really pretty shimmer to it. So I'll set this aside for a moment and take my card base. This starts as five and a half by eight and a half. And I'll just use my bone folder to fold that. And then what I want to do on here is make a background using this same stamp. So I'm going to ink it up and then just randomly stamp on the background. Just kind of turn it as I go and kind of make a collage of this image just over and over. And maybe do a little bit more right down there. Okay, so the next thing is to use some of our new washi tape. This is Watercolor Wonder washi tape. There's a few different patterns. This one is more of the solid gold look. So I'm going to take this and when I'm laying my card on the grid paper, I'm just going to line up right about here so that it's square in there. And then I can use this thicker line here to guide the placement of the washi tape so I get it straight. So I'm going to start here and then just follow it over here to make sure I keep it straight. Okay, so I'll just push it down on there. You can tear this, you can use scissors, whatever you're most comfortable with. I usually tear it and then I can go back with some scissors and just trim off those longer ends. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is attach this piece. This is baked brown sugar and this is two and three fourths by three and three fourths. So I'll just add that and it's going to go right over here on the side. And then this focal point that I started with will go over the top. Before I do that, I want to add some of our new gold sequins. This is a super fun new product in the Occasions catalog. So I'm going to use some glue dots, find some here, and just press that right onto my glue dot and lift it up and scoot down and put a few more on here. You could also use our Tombow glue. You just want to use something other than your snail adhesive to um, keep this in place. And one more down here. I also use the sequins as a garland on my Christmas tree in my stamp room this year. So there's lots of fun different things you can do with it. Get that one on there. So we'll just take this and line it up right along the edge, the bottom edge of the washi tape. Stick it down. And notice I did it so that it goes over the baked brown sugar layer. Okay, just that last little one needs to come up a little bit. Okay, then to attach the focal point, I'm going to turn it over and just put a stamp and dimensional in each corner. And then to peel those off, sometimes they come up really good just grabbing the corner. Sometimes what works best is to go like that. Did you see when I did that with my thumbnail, the ends automatically just pop up a little bit and it makes it easier to grab. So just pop those off. And this goes right on over that baked brown sugar layer like this. See that glimmer in the sequins is really pretty. The last thing I'm going to do is take the thank you image that comes in the stamp set and use the baked brown sugar ink. And I'm going to just tap that gently and then add that right down here under the sequins. 
to add the thank you. So another quick, easy card. The gold just makes it so elegant. Thanks so much for watching. For daily creative inspiration, visit my blog or find me on Facebook at Jody Reinert Stamps.